All right, this is Drake the Dragon in his human form. A couple of things going on. Another week update, Joe's place. Joe's actually made some progress in building the tail and other stuff in my next suit. I don't know how long he's going to finish, so he does make pretty good progress. And you have to mention it's, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, I know, I've got a flat squeaky back there. No, he doesn't have a hole, he just... Whatever. It's a lot of junk. <laughs> Probably should move this so you don't look so junky. Okay. Yes. Oops, wrong way. Go the other way. No. Go this way. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, I'm at Joe's house. Um, this is week two, officially. I've been here since last Wednesday. Um, Joe's got a quite a busy schedule. Yes, gotta love Joe. Good old crazy Joe. Mountain Blue Joe Fox. His accounts are secured. I gotta do some stuff on my end, too. I got a lot of day of work. I just finished an IPA, and I think I'm drunk, actually. So, things are a little nicer. I'm just gonna call it quits for a lot of projects in this furry fandom that I'm pretty much... gonna have to be more productive because now I'm going through reorganizing my thoughts nice downtime Joe being yelled at about leaving the machine on but I've got another computer back there an MSI but which model MSI actually and I kind of like I should buy one of their laptops they have a nice little dragon theme to it but that's that's their thing so that's how you know it's theirs and then there's an Acer with Nitro which I probably could have gotten for about $300 cheaper but all of these have RTX cards on them, so they do the ray tracing support, which do some of the newer shaders and VR chat. Whatever it is, it gets into the graphical stuff, so... But I find that I'm going to see how far Joe gets, because I'm probably around Friday or Saturday, because a $1,000 laptop is quite a bit of money, so... But it's a decent gaming laptop. It pairs to most... And I would say the entire computer he has there is now shrunken down. But for me, I don't see it to be a problem. I don't prefer to travel with a lot of stuff. I prefer to be whatever. Still love a lot of things, but I would play some music in the background. But Twitter, you no know, YouTube would get on my back for playing The Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News. Yeah, I'm going to have to put a rule out there. If that song is a song you despise, you're definitely not a girlfriend of mine. Because <laughs> that is my all-time favorite song, The Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News. And why? Because it reminds me of my all-time favorite movie, Back to the Future, the most inspirational movie that got me to become a crazy Doc Brown perspective. Of course, I've been called Data because of my logic. And dictation or Spock sometimes without the pointy ears. I love wearing a pointy tail. So now I've got to make a decision. This is the long term, short goal, long term. I just finished this computer. I'm going to be restoring some more data. Works on the other laptop. That's doing its thing. I finished the two critical issues that I solved. So now I've got to figure out why it's doing that and secure the system, set up an audit logging system. That's going to probably take tomorrow the whole day to complete. Trying to get that done. Got some more emails to clean up. The duplicates are a mess. Uh, it was my biggest mistake importing my mailbox. I wish there was a way to can cancel at the time. The only other option is to drop my mailbox. There's a way to do that exchange. But if I restore it, I don't have what I mistake and I have to look in the other drive. And this is something to do at the office, really. If I actually even have my mailbox content just by itself, if I do, backup made pre-incident but the second option is I could drop my mailbox just map that by itself with the backup I'll lose all the new stuff in the last couple of months but this way I get some of the archives back that might be the beneficial route to do rather than the other route because that would solve some problems and clarify a few things. That might be something to focus on a course of action to 100% solve my duplicate issue. And I'm willing to do version A or version B because they're both about 19 gigs of data. Version B is simply the fact forgo all the linking metadata and just do a complete restore. 
but I did notice that my content is broken. So that's going to cause some interesting problems. So the other option is to do what I have right now. I already used a duplicate remover tool, paid for two different tools. One actually didn't do quite a job. This one actually did do a better job. And if someone can come up to me with a PowerShell script, I tried a few, but they couldn't get them to work. So I'm just gonna, whatever. I, I, it seems like they're not logging, identities not matching, or some parameters not working. One guy said it said it work online, but it's free support, so you can't expect much. If you had a forum, I'd ask the question why I can't get it to go online because I can get it to log into the mailbox, but I can't get one of the parameters to work since I'm very new to how this works. I would say I don't know anything and maybe, maybe there's a better tool out there. PowerShell remove duplicates is the keyword. I'll keep looking around to see if I see anything, but. I'm not going to spend tons of time researching unless I have that time to blow and get some other stuff done. Maybe I'll try an old game that I haven't played in a while just because, and then I'll probably uninstall it after I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm starting to lose some interest in a lot of things. Space Engineers is something I should try. Huh, whatever. Be fun. But other than that, oh yeah, toy updates. I've got two projects on hold. I shouldn't say they're indefinite on hold because this first suit thing is just really taking a life its own. If a push comes down to it and I can get a consent with Joe, but just like most makers, I can't get a consent with them at all. Whatever. I'm just done with a lot of people and a lot of things. No matter how nice they are, it's just this, this side of this ale has separated so bad now that I can't get work out of people. Fine, you have medical issues, concentration issues, headache issues. No, what it is, is you have what we call a thing of being fucking lazy. That's it. It's no excuse. So, whether you do things a cheap way to put more time into fun, like I do, I just go to cheap $3 lunches just so I could get that over with and then continue working because I'm stuck in so much traffic. But even though I'm stuck in traffic, I really can't do much. In the past, I used to code in my head more, but languages have changed so much, I really need the guide online, so I can't really do any of that. It's come to the point that family's all retired at the house. doesn't do me any good because I need a place to myself. Joe's outside. I'm actually surprised he's still awake playing VR chat tonight. It's the nights that I want to be out there. He's up early, whatever. So, late. Late show, shit show, whatever you want to call it. I just hope to see more progress, but it seems like it's moving along just a little slow with that project. I hate to be a project supervisor, but I'm also going to be a project Grim Reaper soon and just duck them all. I'm, I'm at a point now, not worth it. It's just not worth it. Not worth a $5,000 fursuit. It's not worth any money because it's just showing off. And at this point, you know what I want to show off? My non-human monetary rights. The ability to actually stand forward and become fully independent, financially dependent, and actually not have to deal with this bullshit of people that I have to deal with now. So what? But So what? Why don't I just create my own things? I came to a conclusion I can invent, I can create, and what happens I refuse to take opportunity and seize it. So now, my biggest focus for the year 2020 and going forward, 2022, is opportunity only comes knocking once. And I should have listened to it many times and just seize the moment. And if it increases my income, take that. Just take it. It may be a struggle, it might be a pain in the ass, it might be stuff I don't understand, but just fucking take it. Because I cannot live this problem of, of finding people in communities when... They're on the up there and have this attitude that the right leaning is eh, whatever this bullshit. People live on their own rights, they live on their own freedom. I live with many people and I've worked with many people, but I could care less about their lifestyle. My simple thing is can you get the job done? And really, as my boss said, if you can't get it done, I'm gonna find someone else and maybe bad quality, poor quality. Might be trash, but they got the job done and I'll move on. And I think I'm going to take that going forward.
moving on. That's all I care about. Even if the job is shitty, uh, something is better than nothing. And that's the reason why people buy cheap stuff. Something is better than nothing. That's it.